here we are. Okay, good. Welcome to our first annual virtual fair at the manor. Imagine this. Oh, I got and we have Esther. This is great. Yeah. People popping in. Oh, this is wonderful. I'm just making sure everyone's a host. Good. Good. Okay. And Joanne, can you help me pe making people co-hosts? Because I might leave people out. Because they're popping in like popcorn. It's great. Sure, I'll do that. Just let me just get and, to the gallery view. And uh, Ayla, you're receiving cupcakes. Okay. It's part of the role of and Esther. Well, thank you. And Esther, you're receiving cupcakes too, and Cole will receive cupcakes too. Oh, oh. Wonderful. And Dale. When, are, when, are the, when, when should they, uh, what, around what time are they going to come? Well, probably this afternoon sometime, but I'll let you know. Oh, beautiful. Thank Esther, you. What part of the city are you in? I am in uh, Blur West Village, so around a, close to Renamede Station. I'm in Toronto West. So not quite a Tobacco, but right, right up against, right, 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 really close to Tobacco. Okay, so what I need people to do, so I'm gonna definitely lose track of all these names that are coming in. Oh, it's wonderful. Look at this popcorn, I love it. Okay, fabulous. Okay, make co-hosts. Okay. Bear with me, I'm making people co-hosts so we know how to navigate all this. And then we have, James, did I make you a co-host yet? No. And uh, this is it. That's my dog barking in the background. Sorry. Hi, Solomon. Okay, we're doing this. Okay. Mary. Okay. And there's Sarah. In. Okay, good. And good. Okay. You notice it says the fairy at the manor. That's actually the other computer. I thought, what a better name. Okay. okay. Doing okay, honey, over there? Okay, and there's Fina. I think everybody's a co host. Okay, good. Okay, welcome everybody. Oh, look, we have 29 households. Isn't that fabulous? Hey, hello, Ella. How are you today? It's good. Good to see you. So, so just to give you a bit of, oh, we're going to start with a song. And, and Dale, how did you find out about this? Okay, well, okay, maybe she can hear me. I'm going to start with a song by Mike Russell. I'm not singing Mike Russell's song. Oh, and I'm okay, and um, that's not the right one. <laughs> one second, and I'm going to go into the file. I'm going to call it Mike Russell's song. Good stuff. Okay, and where are we? Okay, here we are. Oh, I'll sit down here with you. Okay, here we are. I got my cup. <laughs> One second, and then we have. Okay, here we are. Coming back in. And this is all. This is a song, All I Needed by Mike Russell, our very own Mike Russell. He wrote the song, and he's our, I call him our resident Gordon Lightfoot and Bob Dylan. Can everybody see that? There was nobody here.
Bravo, Mike. Isn't that great? Mike Russell. Yeah, yeah, someone said Bruce Coburn. That's another definite. So I'm sure if, if oh, there's Edna. Uh, let me just add Edna as the co-host. And there we go. Making everybody co-host so they can navigate. Navigating may be a bit of a tricky thing, but there we go. Okay. Thank you, everybody. And so we're going to just quickly uh, highlight who's here in, in the order they're going to present. And I'm just going to trying to find people is a bit of a, oh, here we are. So uh, now you're just being introduced, May. Not, not, this isn't your talk yet, but to, and then we have a uh, spotlight for everyone. So that's Miss May. And then where's Cheryl? I think I saw Cheryl too. I thought I saw her a second ago. And finding people, oh, hold on, is gallery view. Hold on a second. Let's see, where did, she, where did Cheryl go? Oh, there you are. Okay, good. I can spotlight you, add a spotlight, okay. There you are. Cyril, just want to say a quick hello? You're, you're muted. You're still muted or somebody's still muted. Okay. There we are. Okay. Okay. Well, well, but, but that's spotlight. We're spot, so we're removing spotlight. One second. And then, okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. So okay. we're just a quick hello. Good. Okay. And then uh, one second. Just trying to move your spotlight. Good. And then the next, Victor, I'm going to spotlight you, Victor. And one second. Now, Victor, are you able to spotlight yourself? The, <clears throat> um, no, I can pin myself. I don't know if that works. Okay, so there's Victor. He's going to talk about heritage, Toronto heritage past, and then we'll unspotlight uh, spotlight. And uh, then we have, uh, where, where did Marie go? And one second, there's Marie. Where's Marie and Joanne? There's Marie. Marie, this is just a quick hello who, who you are. Okay, and that's, there we go. There's you, Marie, there you go. Okay, you're gonna talk hello. about Newfoundland mittens a bit later. All right. Hello. There you go, hello, Marie, okay. And then remove that, okay. And then we have, and then we have Mia in the kitchen. We're gonna spotlight you for a second and then gallery view. Now Mia, where are you? Oh, there you are, one second, Mia and Bill. Uh, Bill's my husband, in case people didn't know that. And there we are. They're making cupcakes that you get to have some. Okay. And then we have down to, oh, hold on. Unspotlight Mia. Okay, good. And then we're doing, um, Well, we are going to do, oh, there's Pat Wordy. Good. If someone can make Pat Wordy a co-host, that'd be great. And then we have a Lydia. We, where are you? We're going to spotlight you for a second. There's Olivia and Joy. There's Joy in Scarborough, and they have Hi. these amazing Did you see me? Hello, everybody. Yes, that's great. Oh, look at this. And then we're going back to gallery, and uh, and then we have. Um, oh, hold it. We have. Click it. Vic, where's Kimar? Oh, there's Kimar. All right. This is just the first. Hello, hello. We're introing you, Kimar. Hello, Kimar. Wave, wave at the camera. <laughs> these are your beautiful people, and you get to order food later. Kimar, I want order dinner for tonight okay so i want i want uh, 80 dollars worth of food no potatoes no rice okay just figure that out if you can 
and I'll order a little later. Okay, because I'm trying to do no carbs. You know, summer's coming. Got to be careful. Okay. <laughs> You'll laugh at that one. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then gallery. Okay, then we have Susan Johnson, Cole, and I was going to highlight through Susan. There's Susan. Hold on quickly. And then, uh, so, and then Cole, where did you go, Cole? Um, I saw you a second ago. And where are you? Okay, Cole. Right here, JJ. Are you able to spotlight yourself? Uh, can I spotlight myself? Uh, no, I'm not a co-host. Oh, I made you before. Okay, what happened? I had to, I had to change oh, that's devices. Why. Hold on a second. Let me go. Cole, where did you go? I'm here. But I'm, at in the, I'm looking at participants. Oh, there we are. Okay, good. And if I make you... So if I make you co-host, is that option to be a, a spotlight come up? Uh, spotlight for everyone? No, for you. Yeah, should. Okay. Oh, that works. Good. Okay. Then we also add... Good. Now that you know how to do that. Okay, good. So then you have you. And then if you could add... When, when, if you can just add all the rosary group at the same time. Oh, all the, oh, spotlight the rosary group. Okay. Just do. One mm -hmm. second. I'm adding myself to the spotlight. I'm just going through the list. This will just take a moment. There's uh, Clara and Seraphin and S here, as far as I know. Uh, where is Sorry. Yeah, I'm here. Where is Esther? Esther's right there. I see her. Okay. Ah, there you are. Okay. Yes. Hello. We're the uh, wave, everybody. We're representing the Rosary Society, the United Church of Canada Rosary Society, which is hosted at Manor Road United. And then we're going to add into that also um, Nicole. Where did Nicole go? Um, let's see. Gallery view. Nicole, just wave at me. That'll be easier to find you. Okay. Oh, good. There you are. It's, when you have a sea of people, it gets tricky. Okay. Oh, there we are. Okay. See, we're getting better at this. Isn't this so good? Over. Oh, um. Okay. Now we need to remove spotlight. How do we do that? Just if you can remove your spotlight, can you do that? Um. I can help you with that. Okay. Help you with that too. Are you able to do that, Susan, or see it? Or? Uh, yes. Good. Oh, good. Cool. You're a pro. Good. Okay. Then we have little rainbow fish. Where did she go? It was right there. So just wave at me, Allison. <laughs> okay. Oh, there we are. Okay. Good. And then we have along with you. And then we have James is with you. Okay. And then where did James, can you wave at me too? And uh, there's James. Okay. And there we go. Okay. Add James in one second. And good. Good. So we have Little Rainbow Fish and Lego. Oh, good. And then I think that's it for that. Okay, good. So now we have a sense of everyone that's in our room. We're going to unmute or un remove from spotlight. And then um, good. And then we have first up, we have May and Cheryl. So then we're going to spotlight. Where did they go? Where's May? Can you wave at me furiously? Okay, May. Where did May go? Yo, May. Oh, there you are. Okay, good. And spotlight. And then Cheryl. Hi. Where did you go? I'm here. Okay, just wave, wave furiously at me. Okay, and uh, oh, there we are. Good. Okay, and then okay, there we go. So the one I'm going to do now, I'm going to call up the. This is get. So each of these bags are going to be. Are ten dollars. Not to, not bags or windows. So I'm going to share the screen. And it's not a bid, it's more of a, and you can talk it up, uh, Miss May and Cheryl, one second, and I'm gonna share the screen, and then here we go. What is that, share? Can everybody see that? Yes. Good. Okay, everybody see that, one second. And so, window number one. Oh, can you see that, Miss May? I can, yes. Can okay, else? good, yes. Can everyone yes. Else can everyone else see that? Yes, I good. can. Okay. okay, I think that's good to everyone else. And then so we yeah, have. I can see it. Good. So basically, this is. Uh, you want to explain each each window? Oh, sorry, it jumped. Okay. Who wants to talk, May or Cheryl? 
okay, I can give that a talk. What we basically have in each one of these pictures is a collection of jewelry that's been color coded and themed and is an amazing value for anyone to purchase for $10. All the pieces are in great condition, uh, but are as is. And the jewelry is just perfect for Zoom calls or for gifts or for dress up or for anything. Great value. You can see that there's just tons in each collection uh, and so worth $10 each. And you can do the one second. I'll put it in the chat in a second. You can e-transfer to, to Manor Road or, or go online and pay for it that way. And then we'll figure out uh, delivery. Now, so I'm going to slide to the next one. So for delivery, will people pick up at the church, right? Yes. All the items, all the collections will be at the church. So once they decide they would like um, e-transfer to the church, and pick up at their leisure. Okay, great. And then this is the next one we have. You can't go wrong. Black magic. Ready, set, go. Total fun. And uh, beach beach beads, right? Okay. Color yes. your, your day. Okay. Yes. And the next one is summer fun. Zoom bling. Summer bling. Day and night. And stylish gray. And Mother Earth. And great stuff. And then we have. Sophisticated Lady, Metallic Edge, Beat Heaven, Dad's Timeless Watch Box, and then Silver City and Bead Bliss, and then Green with Envy. Hallelujah. Look at that. Lower Hallelujah. Red is best. And I think, oh, I think that's it. Okay. Well, that's exciting. So lots of good things. And so what we'll do, we'll review that later. But um, let me stop sharing for a second. And... Uh, does anyone have any questions of, of Mayor Cheryl? May, do you want to say something? Yes. Um, the watch uh, selection, just to let you know, they have no batteries in it, but what's $10? You get like a slew of mat, uh, watches and you get one a day. So That's just great. get yourself a battery and you're all set. Right. Let me just call up the, I'm just going to put in the chat too, how to donate online. Okay. One second. And great. Okay. Uh, so I'm putting in the chat where you can make a donation to, and that's a. Uh, the... So, so John Joseph. Yes. Just, just for the folks online, so that everybody's aware of how this is working. Are we? And I'm going to ask the stupid question. Huh? Um, so, if we're interested in one of the bags, do we then go into the breakout room where May and Cheryl will be, and we let them know at that point? Oh, I'd like the Hallelujah or the B list or thank whatever. You. Thank you for mentioning that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to send, uh, I invite May and Cheryl into the joint breakout room one. But then keep in mind what you'll be able to do in this. You can laterally move from one breakout room to another. And the people who are leading the breakout room will, will talk about you how to do it. So I'm just going to put open breakout rooms. I'm going to put this menu into breakout room. I'll put you in breakout room two. won't let you do one. And then Cheryl, I'll put you into, oh, hold on. No, I can't believe. And uh, did you see the invitation to room one, Miss May? Yeah, okay. Um, you've invited me to join room two. Oh, well, the, yeah, we'll do two instead. Okay, then we have. So Sharon and I will be in room two. Yeah. Okay, and I've assigned you to room two. Okay, and then. Okay. And then now we are on to the next one. We have Victor and we're going to back to Victor gallery and we're going to highlight Victor. Well, we have to un unhighlight Miss May and Ruth Spotlight and we have to un, okay, where, where does Victor, where, Victor, you want to wave at me? Where did Victor go? Yo, Victor. I know you're in the room, Victor. 
Where did Victor go? Ooh. Does anybody see Victor? Hello, Peter. How are you? Joanne, do you still see Victor? Maybe. Sorry, what was that? Do you still see Victor Carrotton? Uh, just name? checking. There may be technical issues because I got dropped from the um, session a couple of times. Let's see if we can find him. He's in, he's in room Roger. one. That's room Roger. one, Victor. You're allowed to tip on that. Yeah, I don't see Victor. So he's in room one. Okay. He's in room one, according yeah. to the list. Oh, well, gotta, oh gotta, he's already gone to the room. He's in room one. Okay, Victor, you need to come. Can, can someone message Victor and tell him to get back? Oh, sure. I don't know how we got there. Okay. Oh, we can move Victor back to the main room. Yeah, let me just. Oh, I can't find him. I found him on the participant list. Oh, okay. And I got to move Richard. I'm looking for three different things. I think I just got to make myself stay home till I go through everything. Like, what I know is in a plastic. Pictures in room. Uh, oh, that's in room. Okay. Some of the knitting, yes. Okay, Victor, are you back? Yeah, no. No, Victor. He's gonna go. There he is. Good. How you got into room one? It's okay. For everybody. Okay, so Victor, yeah, uh, you you have co-hosting, right? Okay. You want to do you want to share your screen? Sure. And this is Victor. He's going to talk about spring in the past in Toronto. Okay, part one. Okay, can everybody see that? Uh, let's see. So part one, uh, we're going to look at uh, spring and these are memories of uh, of a member actually of the United Church who uh, was a very well known Toronto historian and author. Uh, Doug Taylor. And these are his memories of Toronto, uh, uh, growing up in Toronto in the 1940s as a, as a young boy. Uh, all the photos are uh, taken by Doug. And um, if, any, if, any, if anybody wants information on uh, Doug's uh, website, uh, contact me after or just send me a message and I'll, uh, I'll provide the link. <clears throat> In uh, past decades, our daily activities centered more around, uh, more closely around the seasons. There were no thermal double glazed windows. So one of the rituals of spring was watching his dad remove the storm windows from their house. Now let's remember we are in Toronto in the 1940s. After they were stored in the basement, of course lacking air conditioning, Screens were installed to allow the circulation of air within the rooms during the summer ahead. So they would open up a window in the back of the house, maybe the front door, and, the, uh, and create a nice, uh, a nice draft. Another sign of the new season was the end of the weekly doses of cod liver oil. There were no more caps. There were no capsules at the time or sugar-coated versions of the nasty-tasting oil. So the cessation of winter's medicine caused quite celebration for many children. With the arrival of the longer evenings of spring, kids were allowed to venture out after supper time. Although Doug expected to was expected to return home, as many kids were, when the streetlights came on. The laneways behind the houses were the best playgrounds. They were secluded from the adults' prying eyes while playing games like kick the can or hide and go seek in the laneways. So we have here four photos uh, depicting on the top left the uh, re receiving the very tasty cod liver oil, uh, top right, playing hide and go seek, a game of kick the can, which is actually a photo from, uh, from London, but closely depicts what I imagine Doug was trying to describe. And, uh, you know, hula hoop games, games that we would have, uh, that the young kids would have enjoyed at the time. While examining the gardens from, the, from these back alleyways, which typically were planted with carrots and beets, the kids dreamed of bigger catches. Fruit trees and blossoms indicated that 
you know, the which trees might be worthy of rating in the autumn season to come. Sour cherries would be available for plundering in June. Apples and peaches and pears would be eluding them until late August. But in May, the rhubarb patches were ready for what he called the pulling season. And the kids held contests to determine who was able to crunch on the most sour stalks before calling it quits. But nobody ever admitted to actually having to go to the restroom after that because of eating so much rhubarb. Um, and here we have a young, uh, a young boy enjoying uh, some rhubarb from the garden and some more games that the kids would play uh, from the time period. Again, these photos are actually from uh, the top right is actually from London. Um, but uh, I've heard similar stories depicted of the wagons that the kids would build on their own. Um, and we have uh, some kids enjoying baseball in the bottom right hand corner. Once the street lights were on, it was time to head home. And you might come home finding mom examining Eaton's spring catalog. And there's a page there for uh, that was had the toys for children. Dad could be relaxing in his favorite chair reading the paper. The seed catalogs might be on the side table, but they'd already been purchased for the season. Mom would have enjoyed gardening and each spring she planted flower seeds in pots and she would take them into the house and she would take them out of the house as the days warmed and bring them in in the evenings. Um, and you know, she would have find a sunny spot for those flowers and eventually they would find their way into the garden. Uh, Doug's parents never purchased plants like we do today in a nursery or at a corner store. The frugality of the warriors didn't allow for such an extravagance, although seedlings were available at the St. Lawrence market for families with thicker wallets, but what his parents did is they would just have seeds and they would grow the seeds in the uh, in the pots and then transfer them to the garden. And I can take a break here now, John Joseph, and we can wait for uh, part number two. Perfect. Thank you. We can stop sharing. Thank you, Victor. So, so Victor, we're going to put you in uh, room three. And then if people want to join and talk more with Victor, you can. Remember, people can laterally move anytime from one room to another. And that's just going down to the breakout room and selecting room. So I'm just gonna figure, bear with me and we're gonna go into, and then we're gonna put Victor into room. And where's Victor? Da, 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 da. Victor, Victor, Victor. There you were, okay, not joined, move to room. Put you in room three, okay, good, okay. Now you should be, you're seeing the invitation to join and go from there. And we'll stop, remove spotlight. And then we have Marie. All right, where did Marie go? There you go. Marie, you have Newfoundland mittens. All right, oh, is that your friend Wendy? Oh, you're muted, Marie. Yep. Now you're muted, I'm muted. So we have Marie, okay. Marie and... <laughs> okay. so, so, She's having a hoop. So I'm a little fun. Okay. All right. okay, so we'll you have to talk. I have to talk. Yeah, go ahead and talk. <laughs> so Marie, why, why Newfoundland mittens? They're great, aren't they? They uh, end up being very flexible, uh, comfortable to wear. Uh, they sort of cling, but they don't cling too much type of thing. And you carry the two colors all the way up and it ends up to be quite, quite a. So hold it up so that the camera can see. The camera can see. Yep. And how much do they sell for Marie? $25. There you go. And this is uh, wool and um, acrylic together. So the wool gives it um, longevity and warmth and uh, the, uh, the other is, um, you know, just easy to handle and easy. You don't have to worry about them um, um, shrinking. Shrinking is the word. No shrinking. The wool makes them warm. The acrylic yeah. makes them wearable. Yeah. There's yeah. A pair of shawl and socks. And, and uh, this is a pair of men's socks. And the, and the yarn is variegated. So 
it's um, just comes out like that. You don't you don't plan it at all. You just knit. And how much and, the, and how much are the uh, the men's socks? Um, I don't even. No, I didn't. You didn't say no. Well, no, a, uh, the price to nobody, be determined. Nobody will pay what they're worth. <laughs> That's they're, the problem. They're priceless. I love it. Okay. They're priceless. There you go. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, Marie. We're going we're to put you in room number four. Okay. Room four. Okay. We're heading there. Okay, one second. Room number. I, I'll unspotlight you. And then uh, where did Marie go? And then we're going to put you in room four. And breakout rooms. Where did Marie go? There it is. Okay, we got that. Good. And then we now have Mia. Where did Mia go? Mia. Okay. Mia, unmute yourself. Okay, this is Mia. We're spotlighting you. So this is Mia. And, and Mia, just say who you are and what be your role at uh, the uh, convention center and also at George Brown. Um, I'm going to turn this off for the three Hi, my name is Mia Diala. I am I am the executive pastry chef at the Toronto Metro Convention Center. I also teach at Georgetown College. Um, I do uh, con ed at the college, and I've been teaching for about I think over eleven years now. And at the convention center, almost seven. Uh, just hitting my seventh. Um, year. Um, I've been doing this for over 23 years. It is a love that I do. Um, and we wanted to share today um, cupcakes because Mr. Bill wants to practice his typing. <laughs> so we're doing a chocolate cupcake with, um, oh, it's just, it's, oh, chocolate cupcake, chocolate with, cupcake Italian. with an Italian, uh, an Butter. Italian buttercream and a and a, um, a chocolate ganache. Wonderful. Okay. And all those who are here today get the cupcakes delivered unless they say no. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Great. Well, thank you. And we'll, we'll, we'll remember, and you're going to be in room number five, Mia. And so people, people come back in. I'm going to unspotlight you and then put okay. you in room five. Okay. And just remember that room number five for me, everybody. Got to figure out where Mia is, and then uh, Mia, 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 Mama, Mia, Mia, Mia. There, there it is. Mia is in room two, number five. Okay, good. Okay, just go to room number five, and then go from there. Okay, and then now we have uh, Olivia. Okay, where are you, Olivia? Hello, hello. And Lydia, just to remind you, Mia is the one who made the cupcakes for your ordination. They were delicious, Mia. Thank you so much. And so just say who you are and who you're with. Sure. So this is, I'm Lydia Smith. I'm one part of the Craftsmiths, and the Craftsmiths is three generations of crafters. Me, my sister, my nephews, and my mom. Actually, four generations because my grandma crafts as well. And today we are sharing a bit of our sewing room with you. So we have a lot of sewed crafts that we thought would be really nice for Mother's Day. So we have aprons and the aprons run from 20 to $35. Full piece ones are between 25 and 30. Half aprons are $20. We also have masks. We have all of our masks are $15. We have children masks that are four times lined two layers of cloth, two layers of interface, and uh, um, other poly something something layer as well. The children ones are 15. And we also have adult masks here of various styles for 15 for sale today. For Mother's Day special, we have a satin pillowcase selection. The wow. satin pillowcase, the satin bonnets help to keep your hair looking shiny and nice when you're sleeping. We also have a satin pillowcase and satin eye pillows. We have regular eye pillows as well. The yeah, eye no. pillows are filled with flaxseed. You can microwave them, you can put essential oils on them and, and then you know rest and recharge, help mom rejuvenate. The, you can take out the actual pillowcase to wash the pillowcase. 
I don't think you can wash the flax inside. So try not to get that too dirty. And we also have, oh, so the set of the satin pillowcase, the satin bonnet, satin pillowcase and satin eye patch is a Mother Day special for $40. The pillowcases are $10 for the satin, $8 for the non-satin. And then we have other sewed things that you might like upon request. We also sell little never needed to water plants and grocery bags. I know we don't need the grocery bags as much anymore, but this can hold a good 12 apples. All right. Great. Okay. I'll take, you know, you know, the black and white uh, uh, apron you had, I'll take one of those. Okay. And, yeah. And then I'll take, and then you had an, that one. And then I'll take um, that, that other one uh, on the, the mannequin. I'll take that one too. Okay. Oh, this, oh, this one? This That's one's beautiful, beautiful eh? Beautiful. For my okay, sister. we'll wrap it up for you. Okay, good. Okay, so we're going to put you in room number six. And okay, we'll go there now. Remember, if you want to go to connect with uh, Lydia, she's in room number six. I'm just going to do that right now. And breakout rooms. Yeah, Lydia, where did Lydia go? Okay, where did, okay, Lydia. Lydia. Room, room. So, Lydia, are you called Joy or Lydia? Or did she join Lydia? Is she in breakout room six? Okay, maybe. Okay. Oh, maybe she went there. Mia, okay. Oh, okay. I mean, okay. MR. Betty, Lydia, Fiend. Susan, did you see if Olivia went to a uh, breakout room? Uh, okay, hold on a sec. Let's see, Marie, Mia. Oh, she went there. Oh, she's under craftsmith. That's why I couldn't find her. Good. Okay, so remember everybody, you can laterally move. Next, we have part two with Victor. Where is Victor again? In the breakout room. All right, but bring Vic. Thank you for reminding me. How I'll remember what I tell people to do. Good. Okay, Victor, where do we go? Okay, we need you to come back, Victor. Good. Where did he go? Okay, break up room number three. We'll move him back into the main room. Okay. Victor, you're back. Victor? Yes, right here. Sorry. I was... No, no problem. Part two. Uh, so you need to share your screen again. And after Victor, just let, letting Kimar know you're after Victor. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Mike. Your song was amazing. Okay, can we see that? Not yet. Did you share your screen? Uh, I did. Just one second. Oh, there we go. That's good. You're in. Okay. In, uh, in May, the backyard garden, the pink peonies were in bud, the purple iris and hollyhocks were pushing upward, and the bleeding hearts were in bloom in a sheltered spot beside the south fence. A bunch of lilacs from the bushes at the rear of the garden were in a vase on the kitchen table. Outside on the street, the mature maple trees flanking the avenue were dropping their tiny bright green flowers, carpeting the pavement and sidewalks. The bright greens of spring never lasted long before slowly turning into the deep greens of summer. Doug's attire also changed quite dramatically to accommodate the new season. He put away the rubber boots and he put on his scampers, AKA running shoes, his breeches or his pants with the long socks that came up to the knees disappeared and now he wore overalls. There were other signs of spring that occurred at school. The girls commenced bringing their skipping ropes to school the most intricate type of skipping being the double dutch. 
It was amazing to observe the two sets of ropes whirling in the air as the girls skipped in and out of them. As well, squares were marked with chalk on the pavement in the schoolyard to play hopscotch. The chalk was usually stolen from the blackboard ledges when the girls lined up beside them to depart for recess or, or for lunch. Another popular game was pick up the jacks. In the 1940s, boys and girls were segregated in their schoolyards. So these activities mainly occurred in the girls' yard. In the boys' yard, pockets bulged with glass marbles, sometimes referred to as dibs or allies. Various competitive games were employed to try and win some of the other boys' collections. The most highly prized marbles were the larger ones, referred to as boulders. The kids traded cards with photos of movie stars obtained from packages of bubble gum. And it wasn't until the 1950s with the advent of television that hockey and baseball cards were inserted into bubblegum packages. Another signal that spring was in the air was the arrival of the yo-yo man. A promoter for a yo-yo company stood outside the schoolyard fence during recess and performed amazing tricks with them, the hardest of them being the sleeper. It enticed many children to visit the local store and buy a yo-yo while purchasing penny candy. Spring brought other changes. The sign placed in the front window of Doug's house for the Iceman was reversed to indicate that 50 pounds of ice were now required for the ice box. All winter, 25 pounds had been sufficient, but with the warmer months, they lifted the canvas at the back of the ice truck to retrieve small shards of ice to suck on. The wooden box that dad had placed in the kitchen window to keep food cool during the winter was removed for the season. The temperature inside that box was regulated by adjusting the height of the window. It was a practical way of obtaining extra space to keep food fresh during the winter season. But the month of May was also the first when the trucks from Nova Scotia appeared on their street selling fresh spring salmon. They packed the fish and ice and drove nonstop from the Atlantic region to Toronto. It was one of the highlights of the year, equaled only by the appearance later in the season of the farmer's trucks from Niagara, which delivered strawberries and asparagus. Doug's mother thoroughly enjoyed berating the vendors about their prices while silently giving thanks for the change in the menu at the kitchen table. In Doug's memory, may he rest well, he so colorfully tells the story of our city and it was one of the reasons that I got into history. And I thought that it would be a nice tribute to him to, uh, to retell his memory of Toronto in the springtime in the 1940s. Thank you. Thank you, Victor. Doug, is a, Doug was a wonderful, he's, he's about 35 books. You can stop sharing for a second, uh, Victor. So look for, uh, he came, uh, has heritage in Newfoundland. And also he's, we have a few of his paintings as well. So next up, and well, Victor, if you, we're going to have you go back to uh, your breakout room number three. You can chat more with Victor if you want. I'm going to put Victor in. Or Victor, do you know how to get yourself there? Uh, I don't. Oh, well, then we'll, okay, Victor, we'll get, we'll get you there. Don't worry. I think I can see you. One second. You're listed as Victor, right? Yeah. Hey, where are you? Oh, you know what? Actually, wait, hold on. Uh, I know how to go there. Good. I figured it out. Good. Thank you. All right. Now we're going to highlight uh, Kimar. Now, Kimar, should we do Kimar and Amar? Okay, oh, yes, we'll, please. Yes, please. Okay, we'll spotlight. And then we'll do Amar too. And then one second. Then we got you. And then, good. Good. Okay, Kimar and Amar, which you make hand. So over to you. Tell us all about your wonderful cooking and how we should be tempted to order you for dinner. Okay. <laughs> so hey, everyone. My name is Amar, and I'm with Kimar on behalf of Jam Icon Incorporated. Um, a little bit about us. We are a full-service catering company that offers um, traditional Jamaican food, with, uh, which is 100% halal. And I'll pass it over to Kimar to give some more details. Okay, thanks, Omar. Um, I was looking at the, the gala review and see a lot of faces that I haven't seen in a long time. So I'm really, really happy to see these faces. Um, um, my name is Kimar. Um, I'm the CEO of Jam Icon Incorporated. Um, we started in 2013. 
um, we offer, as Amar said, um, um, authentic Jamaican dishes, not Caribbean foods, but we do offer Jamaican dishes. Um, you think of a Jamaican dish and we do it. Um, to order from us, we, we have a couple of mediums in which you can do so. Um, you can email me directly um, at keymoremorgan um, um, at gmail.com. Um, you can order through our website through Wix um, at www.jamicon.org. You can also DM us on Instagram, um, which is jamicon6, which is at jamicon6, six, the number 6, I-X, sorry, um, not S-I-X, but 6, I-X. Um, and the food will be delivered to you um, at your um, preferred location. Um, we have a high level of uh, professionals that we work with. So we, we do anywhere from intimate gatherings to large scale corporate events. Uh, we constantly have, um, what do I say? What do I say this? Um, promotions going on. So at any point you will always get a discount. At any point you will always um, get the full service of what we offer. And namely, mostly I'm the one that cook your meals. So if you, if you like me, you will like the food. And if you don't like me, you will still like the food. Um, so to order, <laughs> so to order, um, you can also call call me at 647-803-6346, preferably by emails. Um, and then we can sort out um, what your menu items are and have it delivered to you on time, hot and tasty. Thank you, John. Excellent. Yeah. Wonderful. Can you stop sharing for a second? And we're going to put you in the breakout room number uh, Seven for a second. One second. We're just going to put you there right now. So people want to chat with them. We can do that. And then uh, break. Bear with me as I put you. Uh, oh, we got unspotlight first. Once I'm learning that. Okay. Unspotlight. Remove spotlight. And then good. And then we unspotlight. Good. And then we good. And then we put you in breakout room number seven. And Richard, get ready. And uh, one second. And uh, where are we at? There's Kimar. And then we have an Amar. Where did Amar go? Where did Amar go? Oh, there he is. Okay, remember. So good. Okay, good. And then, so guys, good. And then, Richard, are you there? Yes, Richard is here, present and accounted for. How's everybody doing today? You're gonna have background noise, as we all know. King good. Rules the spotlight for you. Okay. Richard, all right. Now, I made a PowerPoint for you, but do you already have a PowerPoint? Um, actually, I just have a nice video that I wanted to just put up first. Before oh, yeah. You, you can share this. Hello, Julian. Hi. How are you doing? Okay. Yeah, yeah, before I even do that, yeah, let me... Uh, hi, just... Julian. Hold on. Hi. Hello, Boo Bear. Hold on. Hi. You want to say hi to everybody? You miss everybody. Hi, Julian. Hello, Julian. How are you? Hi, Bard. There's the young prince. Hi, big boy, boy Julian. Happily, happily ripping up cardboard right now. All right, son. I've got a new hat. All right. Okay. Remember, you got to share the sound too. Remember? Mm -hmm. All right, that one's freezing. Hold on here. Let me pull up a different one. Hi, hi. Hello. Hi, Julian. Did you hear that? I hear that. Could you hear that music playing? You hear music, yeah. Yep, yeah, okay. And you can see screen. There we go. Oh, come on. You hear music, you can't see video. Sorry, Reverend JJ, you were saying? You can see me, hear music, but no video. Yeah. Did you share yeah. video too? When you when you shared the screen, did you share video? Remember, you got to select that. So just go stop sharing for a sec. Okay. And then when you share, go back into share. You got to share sound and video. Yeah. You got when you click share, it'll, there'll be two boxes. You have to sh click uh, video and sound. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. 
Let's try this one more time. Okay. Perfect. Yay. Now we're there? Yes. Yeah. The video is not playing. Everybody's just seeing that uh, cone. Oh, okay. No, I see. I see. I am black. I see that. Oh, it is playing. I can't see it. Why am I not? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, the good news is we can see it. Okay. Yeah. Who cares about me? All right. Just <laughs> <move on. laughs> Let me just. Move on. Oh, now we can see the cone. We're, we're just seeing the cone now. Richard, we're just seeing the cone. Pardon me? We're just seeing the cone. Yes, that's what I was like. Yeah, we, yes. So we here, my, 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 why don't you just talk about it? Because we're having a bit of technical difficulty. So. Yeah, yes, indeed. All right, so just, tell, us, yeah, tell us what we would have seen. Yeah. All right, so what we've seen is uh, we've been working on a nice project uh, with Carabana. For those of you who are unaware, uh, my name is Richard Haldane. I am secretary for Manor Road United, as well I happen to be secretary for the Carabana Arts Group, um, as well as a few other things in the community. What that video was, was just giving everybody a reintroduction to Carabana and the fact that Carabana has been around since 1967. And in our recent research, we've recognized as a cultural property uh, Caravana over the last 50 some odd years has brought multi millions of dollars of revenue and business into Ontario. And what we're looking to do moving forward is continue with that culture and continue with the Caravana vibe by looking more from an archive perspective. So interesting with Victor also being here uh, with us today at looking back and looking at the way things used to be to the way that things are, as we're definitely going to be looking into a new way of doing things moving forward, especially for cultural events. So I find this is an exciting time to be a part of that movement, to be on that board, and to get the, Julian, not at this time, please, and to get the <laughs> message out that Caravana is looking for members, for individuals who are interested in a multiple ways, multiple capacities to join us in a lot of new initiatives and projects and programs that we'll be rolling out. And I'll be sharing that information so it can be posted on the Manor website. Uh, as well, uh, we are also in the midst with an organization called No Wealth Investments, working with Manor Road United to uh, just pause here because Julian really wanted to be on the camera. Excuse me, son. I don't want to speak to you again. So in regards to a project that we started called No Wealth Investments, that project was an initiative to affect the Black community in regards to money management, as well as investments, property investments, and getting into cryptocurrency. We are in the midst of starting our program on Saturdays. Today was actually to be our official launch date, but due to some personal things, I've had to postpone that. But looking forward to getting into more details of the coding program that we also have as a part of that financial literacy. So that is the reason why I was brought here today to share that information and thank you very much for that. Thank you, Richard. We're hoping to have Caravan at the Manor in July. Perfect. thousand percent. Yeah. And, and if there's not any kind of official Caravan, we'll make one. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So we're, we're going to, now you're going to have you join uh, Kimar room at number seven. So that okay. I'll put you there and then one yeah. second. And then. Uh, I'm sorry, say that breakout number again, breakout room. Um, number seven. Yeah. Number seven, thank you so much. Find one second and All right, it's gonna disappear in discipline for a minute. Okay. Okay, good. And then up up next we have Sorry, I have to leave. It's been great. Um John Joseph, you can send my uh my cupcakes to Roehampton House, perhaps. Sure, okay. You, 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 oh, okay. That's, okay. That's no problem. Okay, thank you. Thank Ava. you very much. Okay. I have to go to a virtual memorial. Oops. Prayers for you. Prayers for you. Okay, so Thank we have you. To Susan, uh, Susan, and we have the, the, we'll start with Susan, then we have the call. One second, we'll start with Susan, and then one second, Susan. 
So there you go, Susan. And to tell us, we have our comfort prayer shawls at Manor Road. Yeah. Yes. Um, while the habit of making something, either a quilt or a shawl or something like that, has gone on for centuries, uh, the current center was founded in 1978 uh, by two women at uh, Divinity College who wanted to combine their love of, um, of knitting and of their, their spirituality. Janet Severi Bristow and Victoria Guerrero. So they came up with this idea of making shawls for people who are either going through a rough time or would uh, or are celebrating or just you know need a little need a warm hug and really that's what it is. Uh, this is the Trinity stitch that they came up with, um, knit three pearl three, which gives you um, a kind of ripped effect. Although any other uh, pattern is fine. As you can see, this is a crocheted one with shells, and this is a crocheted one with shells. And um, we have knitters at uh, Manor Road, and we, we work on them, and we always find somebody who was in need of them. Thank you, Susan. Thank you very much. And uh, we, had, we brought one a week ago to my father, my brother-in-law's father-in-law, Camilo. He was very appreciative of that. Okay. So now we have joining our spotlight is our wonderful rosary group. And now Cole, I'm gonna get people uh, together. We can bring people in and uh, we have, let's see, where's uh, rosary group, wave your hands. Okay, very good. Okay, we're gonna bring people in. As so we're spotlighting myself. Clara, 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 and then the Seraphin there too. Esther, Esther. and Seraphin is here. Yeah. So uh, okay, everyone here is spotlit. Um, okay. Hi everyone, welcome. Over We're the over to you, Cole. Okay. Uh, with the United Church Rosary Society, which is a uh, a very um, uh, I'd say a unique and interesting new organization. We are very organic. We were. Uh, started meeting on zoom a year ago in march john joseph became our chaplain in the summer and we officially became part of the united church through this parish at the end of 2020 so we're um things that make us unique is that we're uh evangelical and ecumenical we do reach out we do try to bring in new actively work to bring in new people but we're very ecumenical about it we're composed of Protestants and Catholics, as well as uh, Islamic and even pagan members. And we pray the rosary in the traditional Catholic style. Now, it might seem kind of strange for a Protestant church to be hosting the rosary, but it is a tradition of the Western church going back, you know, about a thousand years. And we see Mary as, theologically, Mary is seen in the rosary as the witness of Christ in the Gospels. So however you wish to interpret that, uh, we meet two days a week. We meet on Zoom on Wednesdays with our chaplain, Reverend John Joseph, as well as Sundays at 5 p.m. And there is no prior knowledge necessary. I always need to emphasize that. I learned from Seraphim and Clara, myself, and their apps for that. Uh, you don't need a physical rosary anymore. You could get a electronic virtual rosary. And so, yeah, it's it's an honor to be hosted by Man Road United Church, to be officially part of the United Church. And one thing that has made us pretty unique is that while we're a traditional uh, parachurch society, fancy way of saying that, we're composed mostly of uh, Gen X and Y members. So shows that there is an interest in these practices, even among the so-called younger people. Thank you, Cole. Thank you. So remember, Wednesdays and Sundays, yes. And so we're going to bring in to the loop uh, also Roehampton Shelter. So mm -hmm. let me see. If you want to wave at me, Nicole, you're so, there you are. Okay, good. And uh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Your hand, there we go. Okay, perfect. And we're gonna down in the down in the corner is, is Nicole at the Roehampton Shelter just north of us. Nicole, why don't you tell us a bit about the Roehampton Shelter that's just in our neighborhood? Hi, yes, I'm here. Well, uh, thank you for having me. And I'm here to talk about and uh, discuss community engagement, um, get, being involved, um, knowing about us um, at Roehampton. Uh, my, 
at Mount Pleasant in Eglinton. Um, we uh, regularly connect uh, with uh, the faith groups, um, including Manor Road. Um, and uh, if you want to know um, anything about us at any time beyond um, this uh, this virtual fair, uh, we're always around open 24 seven and um, always uh, looking to and, and excited to have uh, community engagement. Thank you, Nicole. Now, we're going to put this wonderful spiritual cluster into breakout room number eight. So I'm just going to, uh, un, un, uh, and remember, you can laterally move between rooms. And uh, one second, I'm just going to slide you in there. Go with me. And then, there we are. Okay. And then, okay. And then, there we go. Okay. And then we have... Breakout rooms. There we go. And we have, we have okay, breakout room number eight. And then we have an Esther, breakout room number eight. And then we have, oh. And Susan, I'm going to put you in breakout room number eight or Susan. Okay. Almost there. Nicole Williams. There we are. Okay. And now we have coming up, we have Little Rainbow Fish and James. So Little Rainbow Fish, you want to wave at me so I can see you? And then James. Where did, oh, there's James. I'm going to highlight you. And then I'm going to highlight Allison. And then where did Allison go? Allison, where did you go? Just wave at me, Allison. Oh, there we are. Okay, that's funny. Okay, there we go. Okay, over. And we'll start with you, Allison. And and, and just uh, you wanted to show the video, right? Yes, we can show the video if people haven't seen it. It's just a short version of the video, and then okay. yeah. And, uh, okay, where did the video go? Oh, bear with me. So, yeah. this is a little video put together by Stephen Milton. Uh, filmmaker and minister and um, it it's nicely encapsulates what little rainbow fish is okay uh, one second I'll, I'll call it up okay one second. okay bear with me okay one second and oh I will share the screen oh good and here we are. Share. Getting better at this? Yes. Okay, I'm pushing buttons. It's not letting me do that. Why is that? Oh, that's weird. stuck one second it's not for some reason letting me share the video option i'm not sure why but um which is highly unusual but well, bear with me it's um no yeah, sorry about that allison for some reason it's not letting me share the video option even though it did in the no if you want to just describe what you people would have seen that'd be sure, great sure so it's um it just it's uh, a drop in every wednesday morning and probably most of you who are here today know all about little rainbow fish but it's for caregivers and preschool aged kids to come and have a time of playing and having snack together and doing circle time and now that we are fully online, <laughs> we are doing um, all our circle times and things on our Facebook page, Little Rainbow Fish at Manor Road United Church. Um, so you can check that out. I am there on Wednesday and Friday mornings doing circle time live at 1030. And um, all the circle times are actually posted so you can look at them. 
Another thing that I'm talking about today is like the green team at Manor Road. And currently, I don't know if you can see, but I am growing seedlings, some for my garden and some for the new garden that will be put in after Mother's Day, a little raised bed garden on the south side of Manor Road United Church. There's the zucchinis. Um, peas, marigolds, I have nasturtiums, basil, tomatoes, all sorts of things. Um, and if you would like to be a part of that, we would love to have your help and expertise because I'm a new gardener and um, I'm sure some of you will know a lot more than I do. If you have little seedlings growing, and you have some extras, please think of us at Manor Road, or if you would like to help plant the garden, let me know. Thank you, Allison. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. And now we get to hear from James, our illustrious uh, uh, George Lucas of Manor Road. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Okay, so um, I'm doing Lego for this fair. Uh, so you can just pop by my breakout room and we can look at stuff I've built really I was just kind of sitting here and building random things with these pieces I had so it's really fun to just you know sit down and while you're doing something like this you can just play with your hands and like make random little things and I don't even know what this is but I put a wheel on it and I just kind of went with it so yeah so uh it's relaxing and it's kind of therapeutic sometimes too like you know just if you feel jittery you know like, like I, I bite my nails so it's much better than doing that so just like uh putting stuff together so it's really um, satisfying kind of too. So I definitely recommend it just to like grab like an easy set and do it like once, maybe once a week or something, just as like kind of therapy or something. I don't know. It's really fun. But if you guys want to talk more about that, um, I'll be in a breakout room. We're going to break out room number nine. Number right. nine. Yes. And so uh, you, what you've done is you created Lego mindfulness. Isn't that wonderful? I love yeah. it. <laughs> Lego, what a whole new idea. Yes, so yes. Room number nine for, for, for James, and then we're going to put you there. That's good. Okay, everybody. Okay. This is great, everybody. So I'm, we're, now we've come to the end of our break of our wonderful sessions, but what we're going to suggest you do, now you have an opportunity to meander through the breakout rooms. So just to remind you how to do that, go down to the part of your screen. Now everyone should have that control at their disposal. I see, hold on. I see Eddie. You haven't been given... Um, uh, Benita, everyone should have uh, co-host capabilities. So just go back to the bottom of your screen. Oh, there's Sherry. I'm gonna, and, and you can actually meander the breakout room. So I'm just gonna leave them open for a little while. And Ella, can you help people meander the breakout rooms? As a, as a yes, of course. So if anyone needs any help, just like um, raise your hand and I'll just try to explain it to you. Um, and yeah. Ella, it's May here. Hi, May. Can you put Cheryl? Could you put Cheryl and myself into the breakout room number two because we didn't manage to get in? Okay, yeah, sure, I'll try. We're, we're working on it. <laughs> what number was that? Um, number two. Number okay. two. Yeah. If you go down to breakout rooms, it should say where people are, but I mean, you might not. Okay, say. and. So Jill, I'm making you co-host. You can get into breakout room. I'm trying to make everybody co-host. So yeah, so try to meander into breakout rooms. I'm not making you co-hosts. And uh, there we go. We're getting better at this. And then Joy, I can make Joy. Make, Jay, Jay. It, it looks like we can't get into breakout room six, even though it says we are. It's on the list. But when you get in there, it's, the number's not there. Oh, I wonder why. That's bizarre. Because okay. I go into move two and it's got room four, five, seven. Oh, that's weird. Okay, let me work, let me work on that. Okay. And that's a good thing. Okay. Let's see. Go down to the breakout rooms. What does it say? Okay. It says. Oh, it says break. Who, who's trying to get to breakout room six? Judy. Okay, well, well, you know what? I probably what I may need, I might need to make you. Did I make you co-host? Yes, you did. Um, then I should be able to move you there. <clears throat> and one sec, I'll make. I'll I'll do that. 
Okay, May, you should be able to go to room two. I assigned you there. I don't know if that will work, but I will do that. And can you put Cheryl you French? I just invited in you to room six. Did you see that? I think she's. I think she's no. already in. Good. I'll join room two. Thank you. Who else needs help to navigate the rooms? We need to be put into co-hosts mode, please. Who, who's that? Benita and Eddie. Be, uh, oh, good. We'll get you into it. Hello, everyone. All right. Benita and Eddie. We're John Joseph, can you also make Joanne a co-host? I'm in with mom in the breakout room, but I'm on my phone and I want to travel to the, the different spots. It says you're co-host already. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay, I'll check I'm it out. Change your name to something else. Okay, okay. Okay, Vanessa. There's I Vanessa. Can't see where the breakout rooms are. The bottom of your screen. It should be on the menu option. It should say make breakout rooms. Menu. See that? No. Bottom of your screen. Which one specifically do you want to go to? Do you know? Yeah, we can we can send you. Which one do you want to go to, Pat? Pat needs to be made a uh, uh, host. Sure. Yeah. Oh, that's why. Good. Okay. See, together we're making this work. Good. Okay. Good. I can't see where Pat, it says menu. Pat, I've made you uh, a co-host, so you should see it then, okay? Where do you want to go, Pat? Oh, now I can see breakout rooms. Good. Okay, okay. Um, so, Vanita, did you see breakout rooms? Yes, we've got breakout rooms, thank you. You can, you can select whichever one you want to go to. Super, thank awesome. you. great, okay. And John Joseph, can, it's Jill, can you make me a co-host, please? I'll try that again. You know, when you, good, I will try that. And then when we- Thank uh, you. <laughs> good, awesome, great, okay. Thanks. And there's Linda Nicholson, awesome Linda. We're gonna make you a co-host so you can navigate the breakout rooms. Okay, they're great. And Edna, I make you a co-host. And there's Jill, she's in there. There's Benita, and I think everyone's navigating. Fina, did you figure out how to navigate the rooms? No, because I'm using my phone and uh, I oh, don't know can, what to do. You, you could do it on your phone. So you, what room would you like to go to? You wanna to go to Mia, the cooking? Anywhere. Okay, I'll send you, good, okay, I'll, <laughs> good. I'll take you there. Okay, one, Fina. What room is Mia in? Okay, Mia Thank in. you. Mia is in um, room is number five. Okay, one second. Mia, number five. Fina. Okay, you're number five. That's where Mia is. Okay. okay. Good. I'm, I'm really sorry, but I don't understand how we're supposed to put ourselves into the room. I can find the breakout rooms, but I don't know once I find that what I have to click on to get myself in there. You I'm joined. not written. Well, let's start with, let me send you to one. Is oh, that, okay. Is that That's Vanita? Lovely. That's Vanita, yes. Good. Okay, let me get you there. Okay. I, I don't remember what the rooms are, so just send me wherever you fancy sending me. Okay, I'll do that. That's great. Okay. And then... Uh, We're going to cruise around. That's good. That's that's the idea. When, when you get the hang of it, you can do that. In the room okay. number... I'll put you to Mia. You'll not like Mia. Okay, there we go. Okay. Just It says join, so just put join. Okay. Got it. Okay, Sherry and Luke, did you want to join a room? You're, you're muted. Yeah, we're trying to uh, join uh, Richard in room seven. Is that right? Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll put I'll put you there then. I'll help you along. Okay. Okay. Thank I you. can I can join room seven. Yeah. Oh, good. You got it. You got it, Luke. Yeah. Good. Awesome. Okay. Great. Great. Hi, John Joseph. I've been trying to get in with May in room two. I'll help you there. Okay. Help you along. That's why we're here. We're here to be your concierge, okay? <laughs> so does anyone else want to go somewhere specific and need some help? So Deborah needs to go to room two. I think she's already gone there. Okay. I think she's right. Okay, good. Okay. And then Betty, yeah, do you want to go anywhere? You're, you're muted, Debbie, Betty. Um, I was in room two. I'm going to go into room four, but I just wanted to 
effect? Did Vanita and Eddie get to be co-host yeah. and move into yeah. a room? Yeah. yeah, they're in a room with um, Richard, number six. Yeah, yeah. I think, or number five. Like, they might be with Mia. But Excellent. Both, okay, I'll, yeah, yeah. okay, I'm going to move on to another room. I just want to make sure. <laughs> Enjoy. Some okay, see you later. Is Joy somewhere? Oh. Joy, Lydia, are you there? No. Yes, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, there's Larry. Larry, did you want to go into a room? Edna, did you want to go into a room? I don't know if Edna can hear me. Okay. Is this hilarious, Ella? <laughs> it's like, oh, you're, you're muted, Ella. I think perhaps we should just move um, the three people here into a room. You're, you're, you're smart. Let's do that. Uh, oh, very, very, wise, very wisely spoken. Okay, good. Okay, we'll move Edna into a room. She might like try number five. That's good. Yeah, number five. Okay, yeah. and then here. Um, let's see, I'll move it over there. And then I, who did I think that worked. I'm not sure. She has to also accept to join, too. Yeah, yeah. Why can I not move? I'm trying to move Edna to five, but it's not letting me do that. Okay, um. What happened? Maybe could, who knows what happened there? Okay. Um, okay. So, Mike, did you start navigating? Hmm. You're muted, Mike. Yeah, I just made a purchase at Lydia's store. Oh, good. So, uh, and now I'm broke. So, uh, now you're broke. Oh, because you have your anniversary coming up, right? Okay. Actually, the anniversary is past, but um, this oh, is right. Susan's birthday, so I got Okay, good. Yeah. And that's 25 years. Wow. Isn't that something? Mm. It's funny how your song worked, but when I tried to do the video for the Little Rainbow Fish, it wouldn't let me, um, it worked in the tech rehearsal, but it didn't work now. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love your purple light in your room, or is that blue? Oh, it's blue. It just looks like weirder. Um, it's almost like a lilac. Oh, look at that. That's great. Oh, yeah. Love that. If you can just change it to any light, really but cute. I choose blue so, for- if, if, you can, if you can hold the fort for a nanosecond, I just got to uh, use the bathroom. One sec. Okay. Okay, so does anyone else want to go to a breakout room? I think I did assign um, Linda and Edna to a room, but um, let me know if you're having trouble joining because we can try that again. Hello, I'm back again. Hello, Joan. All right, you're muted, Joan, okay. I'm just going to navigate some of the rooms here. One sec, I'll be right back. And here we go. And join room. So does anyone else need any help getting into a specific room because I can assign you one? Oh yeah, buddy. Oh, you're muted. Yeah, we, we just need to be invited to the other rooms. We can't join them. Okay, um, do you have a specific room in mind that you'd like to go to? Not really. We don't we don't actually know what the rooms all are. So just dump us somewhere. And the last one we actually enjoyed cupcakes. It was delightful. So put us wherever you think we might enjoy. Yeah. 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 Let me try to find you. Betty, are you trying to say something? Because I think you're muted. Yeah, I was gonna say try Lego room for Eddie. Oh okay. that's really cool. That's room nine, right? That's room nine. 
That's the only one I wrote. Hello, Joan. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Lovely to hear your voice. So, Ella, yeah. can I go to room two, the, the um, with May and Cheryl for a minute? Okay, sure. Let me just try to find you on the list. There you are. You're doing okay. a great job. Thank you. You're welcome. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Thanks. Yeah. Um, you should be able to go there. I now. wonder if you could put that. Yeah. And can Betty go back to room four? <laughs> can you go back to, okay, yeah, sure. Um, Um, Joan, did you get the uh, little pop-up thing um, to say that you could go nope. to? Oh no, okay. <laughs> um, let me see. Perhaps. Oh, there you go. Okay. okay, I got it now. Okay, great. Okay, anyone else need any help going to a room? Hi guys, um, does anyone need help getting into a room? Oh, you're on, you're on mute. Do you wanna unmute yourself? I can't hear you. <laughs> I said to get out, to get out of one room, you have to go into another. Like there's the join, but there's not an out. Yeah. Would you what room do you want to go to now? Anyway, obviously. Well, I'm not sure. I'm just playing. I mean, it's an experience, right? Where have you been? <laughs> I've ordered a couple of things. That's where have you been already? I went to Cheryl and and May and I went to um oh the masks. I can't remember her name. Oh yeah, Ali, yeah, yeah. Ali, 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 yeah right anyway it's okay i'll just go and have another little browse and then i'll probably leave altogether. can we be can we be dumped in the jewelry place yes of course um i'm gonna put hang on a second you there and okay, oh, i think that you, was Ella. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, Betty, do you want to go somewhere? Yeah, I try to go back to room four with Marie, but I, I go in there and I'm by myself. So I don't know where Marie is. Uh, oh, I can. <laughs> oh, Marie. <laughs> with the um, Marie, she's in um, room yeah. two if you want to go over there with her. Okay, I'll go there because I didn't know why I was being bounced out. Okay, perfect. I can do it. <laughs> okay, great. Were there issues, Betty? 
you're on mute. Sorry. Off again. I was, I was, I thought I heard Marie, but suddenly I was in May's room. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I don't know why. Oh, well, let me see. Here, Maybe, can you try putting me back to Marie? I won't do it on my own. I'll, yeah, I'll let you get me there. Perhaps she, see, I thought she was in May's room and maybe she moved somewhere else. Let me try to see where she is. Oh, Liz. Oh, um, I, yeah, I didn't see her. I saw her and Cheryl and she, May, Marie was in room four before, but. Is her name Marie's iPad? Do you know? Yes, that's her. That's yeah, her. Well, she, she's in yeah, room I think it's two. Marie's iPad. She, she she's looks like she's in room two oh. and is like active in there. So yeah, I'll um, Okay, I'll go back. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thanks. Hi, John Joseph. Oh, you're on mute. Okay, so you're getting you're getting cupcakes, okay? Because <laughs> you're here, okay? Ella, cupcakes. Good. Okay, great. Okay, and, or yeah, you can. I can drop them off, or you can pick them up, depending on which. Oh, there's oh there's uh, Cole's father, Clyde. He's he's in California. And uh, hello, hello, Clyde. How are you? Hello, hello, I'm doing good. I can't get my video still, but it's good to see you. Oh, good. Uh, Ella, can you make Clyde a co host? Oh, oh, good. You're back in. All right. I'm going to stop recording. So, uh, well, once I'm just going to end the, 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 the recording part. So, we have been having the virtual uh, fair at Manor Road. And it's uh, remarkable. We have about 39 households online and it's a new beginning for what we call the 21st century. Thank you for signing in. Okay, there's that.